it's finally happened. Flick have released their Amazon skill and changed the smart home game forever. I have been waiting for this moment since basically the smart home industry began. There is finally a tiny little button that can start Amazon's routines so that you don't have to use your big fat mouth hole anymore. You want to use your mouth hole? Fine, but your missus probably doesn't. Oh my god, you're so punting above your weight. That girl is far too attractive for you. Eee, shut up. Basically, Amazon have always been the center of my smart home, and I've recommended this to most people because it is going to be the center of all your smart homes, whether you like it or not, in the next five years anyway, because Amazon and Jeff Bezos. I don't have enough yachts. It's an inevitability that I'm absolutely fine with because Amazon are so reliable at controlling our smart homes and so very well interconnected. The only problem is, until recently, we've only had our big dumb mouth holes to be able to control it. Not anymore. Before we get started, there is a huge competition at the end of this video where you can win a bunch of flicks, so stick around for that. Stop skipping to the end. If you don't understand all the excitement about all this, it's because I don't always like using my face hole. The first example is I have one of these already by my studio lights, and when I press the button, my studio lights come on, a couple of lights change to white instead of purple, but the original setup meant that I couldn't connect this button to every smart home device in my house. Now I can, because it controls she that should not be named. The second example is, by my bed, I want to be able to press a button that starts waterfall sounds to help me to sleep. I can't speak because I'll wake my missus up. She's already asleep and that won't help her very much. She will punch me. And the final reason is the most important reason of all. If you have a smart home, you've probably already buried your spouse under your patio. Because every time they switch off a light switch, your smart bulbs are dead and you can't control them anymore until you switch the light switch back on. That's what the beginning of the video was about. I am going to go round my house and I'm going to rewire every single one of my lights so that they are permanently on. I'm going to put a blanking plate over the top of it and then I'm going to stick my flick to the blanking plate. When my missus wants to turn the lights on in a room, she'll press the flick and the lights will come on. When she wants to turn them off, she'll double click the flick and the lights will go off. Genius! Well, I think it's ugly and I hate it and I hate you. Ah, f you. I'm probably arguing with people that don't exist here, but I could just, I know my comment section. I can imagine there's someone right now going, yeah, it's so ugly, shut up. It's not ugly, it's fine. If you get a white blanking plates and a white flick, it'll be almost entirely invisible anyway. Mine, it just kind of looks like a rocker switch for a dimmer. It just, it's, it's fine, it's not ugly. I mean, we could always do this instead. Until now, that would have been the only way of achieving this. Flick have solved a massive problem, literally. Oh my god, a Philips Hue joke to you. I mean, Philips have been di Shut up. Allow me to explain why you're an idiot. The Philips Hue demo switch is awesome. I've recommended it before, but it is very limited in that it can only control Philips Hue bulbs or third-party Zigbee bulbs. You can't get it to control an entire scene in a room made up of Lithex strips and Shelly bulbs and Philips Hue if that's your poison. It is poison. <laughs> Philips can release their upcoming battery-powered garbage button and you can buy it if you like, but me personally, I'm gonna be using something that I can take off the wall, replace the battery and put it back on again without having to get my screwdrivers out and I'm gonna control a whole lot more stuff than you, and I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna like it a lot. 
The other reason this is such a perfect solution is because most of us in the UK do not have a neutral wire at our light switch. Most smart switches do require a neutral wire and those that don't will suffer with this problem. I believe it. Why are you, to, why are you turning off? I'm in the seventh circle of hell. I <laughs> That was me discovering what happens when you install smart light bulbs with a smart light switch. The bulbs go mental and I shout obscenities at them. A battery powered smart button that connects directly to the lights has been the only solution up until now. Flick have just solved this problem. If you're new to the whole smart home thing, you'll be pleased to know that the setup process for this thing is as simple as it gets. All you've got to do is follow the instructions to add Flick to your phone app, which is a piece of piss. And then once the Flick button is added, you just select the she that should not be named option as your Flick action for your button. I've done it for all three, so I've got it for if I do a single press, a double press or a hold. And then you add the skill in the Amazon app. Once she discovers the devices, you can then add them to a routine. Once they're added to a routine, that's it, job done. The routine can be anything you like and it's super easy to set up in the Amazon app. If you're looking for simplicity, this is your badger. I could have a button that makes this idiotic bent read my emails out in the morning. Or I could have it start up the Fire TV Cube and open a particular show on Netflix. I could have it start a Spotify playlist for when I want to do sexy time in the bedroom. And if my mother-in-law is watching, by sexy time, I mean curling up with a good book because I would never violate your daughter. I could have it set my smart home alarm system, turn all of the lights off in the house, and then start a waterfall sound to help me to sleep. I can press this button every night and have all of those things happen. With a single click, I can have all the lights in a room come on. With a double click, all the lights can go off. Holding it down could set a more romantic setting. Strangely, me programming up a smart home button to control lights has resulted in no romance whatsoever. False advertising. <laughs> I am deadly serious about this though. I will be replacing every light switch in my house with one of these things because Amazon is so reliable and this has been implemented so beautifully. Not only that, but they're waterproof. You can stick this thing anywhere. You can stick it right up your arm. Before we wrap up then, there are some links in the description to where you can buy all of this stuff. You can buy a Flick on its own and connect it to your mobile phone to control all of your smart home gear. But if you then leave the house with your mobile phone, your missus will be cursing you because nothing will work. I would personally recommend getting a Flick starter kit which has a hub which would act in place of your mobile phone. As I said, links in the description to all of that. As I said at the beginning, Flick are running a really sweet competition. They actually literally just want to spread a bit of positivity, and I'm really proud to say it was one of you guys that inspired this. There was a comment on my previous Flick video, and it was just a guy spreading a little bit of love, and Flick in turn said, we want to give you some Flick buttons because we really like that. And they decided to run this competition by saying, if we can spread a bit more love, we're going to reward that love. All you've got to do to win 30 bucks worth of flick is to leave a comment below with the hashtag share the love followed by something nice say something nice about me if you like and then leave a second comment telling me i'm punching above my weight i don't care Hello, darkness, my friend. the second way that you can win even more is to go and head over to my mate brian from automate your life and leave a comment on his video in the same vein, hashtag share the love. Just say Paul sent you so it's obvious that it's it's part of my thing. And you can win even more, so you, you get two chances here. Go over to Brian's page, share the love there. Say how much you love his inability to do the Riker. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. <laughs>
<laughs> That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These amazing people here are my patrons, and I don't bang on about them quite enough. They are literally the best people on the planet. They make these videos a possibility. Without them, I would not still be doing this. If you want to come and be one of those guys, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And either way, I'll flipping well love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. I'll see you next time. Oh my god, a Philips Hue joke to you. I mean, Philips have been doing this since... <laughs> Second of all, when I'm in bed and I'm asleep... Oh man, I can't be asleep. If I was asleep, how would I press it? <laughs> be named because they have no power. I have solved... I have solved it. I, I have solved this problem. <laughs> I'll see you next time. It's so Anne Robinson at the end there, isn't it? I'll see you next time. Wink. Ha! <laughs>